The education system in China has been changing all the time because of the because of the consistent effort in, in the government. So, is anyone here who ever who have ever been to grand school? Please raise your hand. Raise your hand. Only two, three, four, one. I thought it would be more. Okay, so I'm going to I will I will tell you more statistics about people who go to grand school. So, what is grand school? According to the definition, it's it's a private institution specialized in preparing preparing students for examination. And special um, and in later years, special um, special uh, blah, blah, blah. such as um, institution in East Asia, such as Japan, South Korea, South Korea, or certain students of East Asia. And but today I'm going to talk about culture in Taiwan. So English, math, physics. Um, Chemistry, these are the most common, common and popular sub subjects of in crime school in Taiwan. According to the statistic, from 11,997, the number of crime school of, in Taiwan, it's increased from 11,997 in 2006 and to 18,962 in 2012. So anyone can take a guess what is 50% about? Actually, it's a, it's a number of students going to current school in Taiwan. And, you, and what's more? 8 in 10 of high school students who go to current school. And actually it's very common in Taiwan. And also students spend 9.5 hours on, stud on study. So basically students in Taiwan, they start to study, they start to learn things from 7 p.m. until 5. When they finish school, they will go to current school and to continue their study. So why crime school in Taiwan is so popular? And now we're going to discuss about the reason behind the success. First, different levels. Different levels. Oh. Okay, because public public school cannot meet students' need to enhance their academic performance. And although Taiwan has a well established public education system, but the quality of the teachers doesn't meet parents' expectations, such as um, the, the teacher's attitude and also teaching skills. And next will be the culture. Because Taiwan, um, I think they, they, it is the most important reason because Taiwan shares um, a trip with East Cal um, with a traditional traditional trade with East Asia. Because we all think academic success is your it's, it's a foundation of your future uh, your career. Future. So most most parents believe that if their children can enter a higher recent high school or the university, they will have better career in the future. So they will send their children to cream school if they can afford it. And that's still parents' expectation. Parents high expectation for children, parents who who expect their children to achieve highly, they will send they will never satisfy with their grade. Therefore they will send their children to cream school. And also to enhance the, the academic performance. 
Um, Students who fell behind academically at school will choose to attend cram school in order to have extra instruction. And you know, everything has two, two sides, so we are going to talk about, talk about pros and cons of cram school. The benefit of going to cram school. First, they can learn more than regular school. Children can learn more in regular school, be, uh, can learn more in cram school. It is because cram school they are satisfied and they can choose the class which are appropriate for their level. And also, the teacher in cram school are well trained to attract students' attention and make them concentrate during the class. So, and next will be, they can help students to preview or review the study. So, with their help, students can have less difficulty in learning and, and also when they do their assignment. assignment. Now it's the drawbacks of going to cram school. As you can see, because as I mentioned before, students spend 9.5 hours on study. So it is too much for a kid. So, and next will be deprive children of play time and lost ability to think. Because in cram school, teachers only teach them how to solve the problem not to teach them, teach them the learning skills. So during the process they they don't have they don't have the ability to think. They only know how to solve it but not to enjoy the process of learning. And after I give you brief brief introduction of current sport and now I have some questions. Do the children feel on their obligation of teaching? And why students in Taiwan do not have a vacation? Is current school what students need or to meet parents' expectation? And that's uh, that are my question for you to think. Thank you.